AMD's mid-range is going to slap the crap out of the current high-end cards. Apple wants you to subscribe to the iPhone and Lapsus gets arrested. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're going to be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. And I just want to let you guys know that currently we are live over on Twitch for our charity stream where we're trying to raise money to cure my son's rare genetic disorder. And it's going to be a great time. It's an uncapped subathon that's going on right now. For every dollar you donate, you're going to add time to the timer and you can keep us streaming for gosh knows how long. So come join us over on twitch.tv forward slash you have to I should probably say that it starts at 10 a.m. and then this video goes live at 9 a.m. So just like wait a second and then come join us. That'd be that'd be that'd be the correct thing to do. But what's also the correct thing to do is to get excited about AMD's GPUs because there's new rumors coming out about the RX 7700 XT and how it can beat the 6900 XT according to the latest rumors, but not only beat it, but also beat it at half the price and then also beat it at half the power draw. So according to Graham, on 55 the navi 3x gpu is currently being tested right now and could be taped out so that it can roll out by the end of the year and the 7700 xt will come out with performance exceeding that of the 6900 xt at roughly half the price and this is thanks to the fact that rdna3 is expected to undergo a major overhaul in terms of how it does things on the front end and how it can actually compute the graphics and it can do it so much faster that maybe hopefully like a 500 dollar ish card can be a thousand dollar card like that that would be the that would be the trajectory that this leak indicates and then that would make you get your wallets out for what they have coming let me know do you think this rumor is real does this get you excited what do you think of amd's rx 7000 series are you waiting for it i want to hear from you down below but let's talk about amd's rise in 7000 series because there's also new indication that it's going to be it's going to be hot the uh, the highest end 16 core 32 thread chip is expected to come with a 170 watt tdp which is just much larger than we currently have the 12 core 24 threads only supposed to have 105 watt TDP. And if we compare that to the current generation 16 core CPU, the 5950X, you can see that the default TDP is 105. So this would be a substantial increase on that chip and potentially could unlock a lot more power coming from it. We're expecting that these chips will have AMD's 3D vCache feature, which will allow the chips to run faster at gaming. You give them some extra power juice and they're just, they're off going like freaking Barry Allen. Barry, do you remember the time your father said he was going to buy some milk and never returned it was me barry i was the milk <laughs> And I don't get crypto, but let's talk about crypto stonks. Bitcoin up 3.77% on the day, having a nice little jump. I think there was a report that came out that ExxonMobil is going to start using excess gas that it has to like back mining operations. And so this might be in response to that. Bitcoin at 43.891. Ethereum also following the upward trend up 4.44% to be at 31.05. And Dogecoin increasing ever more at 6.75% increase in the last 24 hours to sit at 13.6 sense but apple wants to increase the amount of money it's making and the amount of people that are locked into its ecosystem bloomberg coming out with a report that there might be an iphone hardware subscription service where you can just pay them a monthly fee and you get to keep your phone it's not necessarily like the contract that you have with your mobile carrier and it's not necessarily like financing the phone at zero percent interest like some people do with like their apple store card this would be like a weird middleman situation and i can kind of already hear the comments in my brain of like oh look apple's gonna make it so if you don't pay your subscription you're not gonna be able to get your phone and i feel like most people are trapped in this anyways like a lot of people have contracts with their phone carrier a lot of people finance their phone because it's untenable to buy a thousand dollar phone every even three to five years it's just it's a very expensive purchase so making it more affordable in this way could potentially unlock more people being sucked into the apple core and we talked about earlier this week how people how companies were getting sucked into the hacking core by lapsus microsoft was the latest victim we discussed, but now it turns out that London authorities have actually made some arrests in connection with the Lapsus organization. The City of London police have arrested over seven people between 16 and 21 connected to the organization and that they're not necessarily facing charges right now, but they're under investigation and some of them have been released at this point. It turns out that one of the leaders might be a 16 year old who actually has roughly $14 million in Bitcoin that they've made from the hacks at this point, but his name getting doxed by other leaders because of a 
fallout that they had in disorganization on the crime that they were trying to pull off, which just goes to show my friends, crime doesn't pay. And if it does, it's only in crypto. And if it's in crypto, it could potentially be seized. Who knows? But people were getting seized in Elden Ring when there was a multiplayer exploit that allowed other players to invade your world and then you would just be in an infinite death loop. Well, good news, Bandai Namco from software, they've patched it. So you can you can play multiplayer to your heart's content, be maidenless with other people. Isn't that right? Yeah. How many maidens you got? Zero. No maidens. Maidenless hack. But Nvidia doesn't want you to be powerless when you're trying to get those maidens because there's reports coming out that the 3090 Ti that's expected to launch sometime next week will be having a whole lot of power juice. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna deliver 450 watts and it needs at least three eight-pin PCI Express connectors that then connect to the 12-pin connector that goes onto the GPU, which is part of Intel's new ATX 3.0 setup that they just announced and so Nvidia is going to deliver the squid to you so you can have the most beautiful looking RTX 3090 Ti Founders Edition that ever was okay it, it, it never will be better than this get squids all over your computer and I'm I'm gonna ink on out of here because I got a I got a charity stream to prepare for come join us over on twitch twitch.tv forward slash UF disciple starting at 10 a.m eastern and again it's an uncapped subathon every donation extends the timer and we could potentially theoretically be live for way too gosh i've already talked to my wife about this and she was like what what are you what are you gonna do if it goes past like a week we'll figure it out that's the fun of a subathon what are you gonna do die he's gonna die that's unfortunate see you there friends